to the growing coronavirus numbers across our area. Tonight, Duval County is over 200 cases, and seven of the 11 counties in Northeast Florida have seen an increase in confirmed cases since this morning. That includes Union County, which now has its first confirmed case. Overall, we're at 470 cases across Northeast Florida. As the number of coronavirus cases rises, Duval County hotels have officially been ordered to stop taking reservations for non-essential lodgers. Mayor Curry's executive order went into effect at 5 p.m. today. He said this order will help prevent people from bringing COVID-19 in from other cities. And News for Jax reporter Corley Peel talked with some families who live in extended stays in the city. And Corley, what are they telling you? I've spoken with several people who are staying at local extended stays for various reasons. And fortunately, they won't they won't have to leave. And I've actually been speaking with a lot of people who say majority of the people who are checked into these hotels will be able to stay. For weeks, Megan McNeil, her husband and three children have called an extended stay on the south side home. They're waiting to move into a new house. It's been delayed because of COVID-19. And I've been self-isolating for three weeks because I'm immunocompromised. So me and the kids have not left this hotel apartment room for three weeks now. Under Mayor Lenny Curry's executive order, McNeil's family will not be forced to leave the hotel. It makes me feel a lot more relieved. At first, I was a little bit, especially when they started changing things around here, like everything was shutting down. We can't really use any of the hotel amenities or anything. I was afraid that maybe it'd be shut down and we wouldn't have any place really to go. Um, but I'm, ex I'm feeling a lot better. Curry's order prohibits hotels from accepting guests who are not considered essential. That does not include McNeil and other lodgers who are in need of transitional housing. I don't have anywhere else to go. I don't have the money together to get an apartment, so this was my this was the, where I had to go February 1st before all of this came about. Other types of essential lodgers include first responders, patients, and their families, displaced residents or visitors, people who can't stay in their homes because of dangerous or domestic violence situations, and people whose travel is impacted by COVID-19. We were on our way to Nevada and kind of got just got caught up and what's going on. I feel like we have stable housing here though. McNeil says she's relieved. She and her family still have a roof over their heads. We have a complete list of those people that are considered essential lodgers on our website at newsforjacks.com. Coming up to, at tonight at 11, we'll hear from a woman who says she is grateful that she will be able to stay at an extended stay hotel. Otherwise, she would have been homeless. Reporting live, Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.